Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. I haven't done a video for a while, have I? What have I been doing? Well, not very much, really. Done a bit of work, done a bit of cycling, done a bit of uh, uh, losing faith in our political uh, system. But anyway, uh, why am I wearing the cap? Well, I'm wearing the cap because, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you will know that a cap signifies unboxing time. Why haven't I done an unboxing video for a while? Well, cost of living crisis, guys, cost of living crisis. I haven't been able to buy anything. The only thing I've been able to buy is a couple of fan heaters to try and keep myself warm because I'm obviously not able to put the heating on in the house. Anyway, decided to buy something. And the reason I decided to buy something so I could do an unboxing video because I've got nothing else to say. So it's time for an unboxing video. So anyway, let's uh, let's open the packaging. Julian is opening the packaging, and actually I'm going to give you a quick a quick flash. Now it says here. Okay, you'll see. You see what it says there? It says. Can you read that? It says Rafa. Now you're thinking he's only gone and bought something from Rafa. Well, I haven't really. Uh, actually, I bought something from Primark, but I thought if I put it in a wrapper bag, it would look kind of, you know, more impressive. Look like I was, you know, really ready to join the GCN guys instead of, you know, floundering around at the poor end of the internet, which of course I'm forced to do. Anyway, let's open the bag, the Primark bag. Oh, isn't that noise irritating? I'm a bit too close to the microphone, aren't I? Anyway, let's get some here. Look at this, look at the great reveal. This is like, um, do you ever watch Naked Attraction? My wife, for some reason, is quite interested in Naked Attraction. I don't know what that says about me. Um, but I always say, oh, for God's sake, darling, turn this off. I say, because you know, I mean, who wants to watch Naked Attraction? Let's face it, apart from my wife. Uh, anyway, this is like, you know when the, the, the camera pans up and it kind of goes up, drifts up, as it were, uh, past the knees and past the thighs and you think oh no we're going to get the big reveal of the genitalia which let's face it I mean whose genitalia do you really ever want to see <laughs> leave a comment down below if you've got some ideas so anyway here it is the camera is panning up oh look the genitalia has emerged what have we got this yes it's a kind of um now again you see <laughs> this is Rafa genitalia <laughs> Stop laughing, Julian. The other thing my wife says to me is stop laughing at your own jokes. I mean, that's not even a joke, is it? It's a Primark bag, but I've written Rafa on the front because I think that makes me look cool. Anyway, let's, let's open up this bag. This is, um, that I chucked on the floor here, ready for the recycling. Is, um, is it recycling? Uh, could be. Um, or is it just single-use cardboard? Recycling, if you're into uh, gluing yourself to the road, uh, just a bit of rubbish if uh, you're like the rest of us. And here we have a biodegradable. And what Rafa... All right, let, let's cut the jokes. This isn't Primark. This, this is Rafa. What Rafa are doing now is vegan packaging, right? And the thing about vegan packaging is once you've taken the stuff out, you can then eat this. Yes, you can turn it into, I don't know, like a vegan cottage package pie or a vegan shepherd's package pie or into a, um, what's that stuff? They, they do kind of vegan lamb chops, don't they? They're not made of lamb, obviously, not made of vegans either. Uh, they're made of packaging. Um, I suppose I ought to say, guys, even though I haven't been laughing, that is a joke, right? This is not edible packaging. But it does beg the question, why could you not have edible packaging? Would that not be a kind of Swiftian solution to, um, you know, food shortages throughout the world? Anyway, I'll leave that with you and open the bag again. This is the naked attraction. We've gone up, we've gone past the genitalia now. We've got to the kind of flabby belly button and then we're coming up. And if it's the ladies, the ladies part of naked attraction, then we're coming to, you, you know, what, whatever ladies have. And if it's the gentleman's part of um, uh, naked attraction, then we're coming up to what the, what the gentleman has. Anyway, so we're taking this out and, oh, do you like that? I think that's quite a cool colour. Now, this is, uh, let me tell you what it is. This is a bar bag, right? 
and it comes in two colours, yes, like Henry Ford, any colour you like, so long as it's black or, unlike Henry Ford, this, which I call uh, orange, don't know what you call it, but I think Rafa calls it dark yellow, but I prefer, I prefer orange, don't you? I think it's orange, anyway. So, what have we got? Um, we've got a couple of straps here, so they're going to go on your handlebars. We've got a strap here which is going to go on your your head tube of your bike I may, I may put it on the bike shortly so you can see uh, we've got a what have we got we've got a zip here at the front and inside this like this is like a shoulder strap I imagine so that's quite useful if you want to you know put your bike over your shoulder we've got in here a rather attractive Rafa pink interior pocket which has got written on it pack light travel far can you see that pack light travel far and you could fit something in there not quite sure what you could fit and then we have the main zip there we are i'm opening the main zip for you and what you can carry in the bag is um this bit of uh, recyclable, uh, vegan, uh, vegetarian, uh, roast chicken dinner. Yeah, you see? So they, they pack that in the bag. I'm not quite sure why they pack that in the bag. I suppose so that you can imagine if you had a vegan roast chicken dinner, you could carry it in your uh, Rafa bar bag as if you'd want to. And then looking inside, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see that? There's the inside of the bag which is fairly capacious, I think you'll agree. This says, OK, O oh keep. What do you think that means? OK, O oh keep. Uh, oh, do not eat. Anti-mould chip. I think that's, um, what is it? That stuff, silica gel, silicon, silicon Valley gel that they put inside to absorb moisture. So I imagine it's something like that. I don't know if I could leave that in there and there's a square piece of uh, edible vegan plastic which is uh, obviously a useful addition to the bar bag you don't get that with every bar bag one of these so bar bag manufacturers there's an idea for you put in a square of uh, plastic always useful and uh, in the bag I don't know if you can see there's a kind of elasticated mesh pocket divided in two can you can you see that you see that? I'm pointing. There's which finger? Can't tell which finger I'm using. Right, I'll use that finger. That's a bit naked attraction, isn't it? I'll use that finger. So I'm pointing at that pocket there, and there's that pocket there. So it's divided by a, a kind of thing in the middle. And um, is there a zippered compartment inside? No, there isn't. Actually, sorry, I was. This is the silica gel. So what's this then? This is an OK anti-mould chip and this is the uh, vegan silica gel uh, which you can use for making, I don't know, fish cakes or something like that. Vegan fish cakes use this uh, silica gel. Um, sorry, kids, adults, elderly grandparents, uh, neighbours, um, uh, don't, don't eat the silica gel because if, if you do, if you do eat silica gel, by the way, it'll absorb all the moisture in your body. Uh, and then after a couple of days, you will, you will shrink down to the size of, a, size of a prune. It's quite fascinating to see. There are some videos on YouTube about it, actually. But don't try that at home, kids or anybody. Um, and that's the, um, that's the Rafa bar bag. And as you can see, it says... Raffa on the front. Now the thing you're going to be interested in, the thing I'm interested in, is when you go out on your bike and you've got your Raffa bar bag, can you carry in your bar bag the stuff that you want to carry? So let's see if we can. Now one of the things that I like to carry uh, when I'm out on my bike is a spare water bottle. Okay, so let's see if that fits in. Yep, so that spare water bottle, this is a tax, by the way, that spare water bottle, that does fit in, so that's quite useful. I also find it's useful to carry a, a can of, of muck-off degreaser 
spray in case I want to degrease either myself or my bike while I'm out traveling so let's see if that fits in um, well that fits in like that um, it doesn't sort of completely fit in so it's not entirely satisfactory Rafa. it doesn't quite suit my needs um, I also like to carry uh, a park tool uh, pedal uh, Allen key I think this is a size 10 Allen key for removing my pedals while I'm riding along always useful and uh, let's see if that fits in well that sort of fits in again a little bit sticking out of the side here but that's not necessarily too much of a problem and um, I also like to take because one of the things that I find is you're riding along you go for a ride perhaps a gravel ride something like that and um, your cassette on your rear wheel gets a little bit loose uh, so you might have to take it off and you might have to put it back on again so if you're going to do that you need a chain whip and here we have a uh, park tool fairly expensive uh, chain whip so let's see if that goes in the Rafa bar bag well it does yeah sort of a bit sticks out the end there so not entirely satisfactory but then once you've taken uh, your cassette off and you've put it back on your hands are probably pretty greasy so what you're going to want to do is clean them and so a uh, a, a jar, not a jar, a jar is made of glass isn't it? So what do you call it if it's made of plastic? I suppose it's a container. So here we have a container of Swarfiga. I've uh, been cycling along, got a bit dirty, want to clean my hands so I need the Swarfiga. So can I get that into my wrapper bar bag? Well I can actually, look at that. Uh, I can't zip it up but uh, I can still carry the Swarfiga. So I think uh, I think you'll agree with me that this Rafa bar bag is actually quite cool. So let's put it on the bike and see where we go from there. So are uh, you happy so far? Come with me over to the bike. Don't go away. Okay, well here we are over at the bike and we've come to the Orbea Terra, which is this bike here, although that's not particularly relevant. And I've attached the bar bag as you can see with these two straps one here and one here uh, to the handlebar as you can see my wahoo one out front element is is a little bit in the way but i'll raise that up once i uh, take the bike for a ride and then i can access the top of the bag here and i can access the front pocket here uh, these two straps they're not velcro those 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 just plastic slot in things that you know and then there's a kind of locking bit here to uh, stop it coming open so that's quite useful uh, and i think the color is rather cool actually and i like the fact that when i'm uh, coming up uh, behind some old uh, duffer uh, on a bike or uh, uh, a female of the cycling species and I'm, and I'm going to pass them they're going to look over their shoulder uh, and not only are they going to see a, uh, a rather distinguished slightly elderly uh, cyclist flashing past them but they're going to see that telltale raffer sign and this dark yellow that I call orange uh, color of the bag and they're going to think blimey um, I don't mind uh, being overtaken by a cool guy like that who's got a Rafa dark yellow bar bag so if you are one of those people who gets passed by me don't worry about it it's nothing personal it's no reflection on the fact that you're a bit of a shit cyclist yourself because it's just Julian with his brand new unboxed Rafa bar bag so the Rafa bar bag I'll leave a note of the price below I think it's 50 of our English pounds uh, of course the way the pound is going at the moment um, what that is in other currencies I'm afraid I don't know uh, talk to your economics advisor so there you go the Rafa bar bag I'm crouching down a bit now because I can't be bothered to adjust the tripod legs well thanks for watching this particular unboxing uh, hopefully I'll be able to save enough money from uh, using the fan heater instead of my electricity bill to buy some more stuff and therefore do some more unboxing videos for your delectation so 
in the meantime uh, if you like my channel please uh, I, I'm supposed to say this every time but I usually forget if you like my channel please like my channel please subscribe please hit the notification bell so that you get notification of a bell when I put out a new video uh, tell your friends and do remember that my channel raises money for a food bank which is very important in these cost of living times so thanks for watching see you next time